Yo, it's that time again where we show our music report cards, right? This is my stats on screen right now. This is my Spotify wrapped stats and I got 1.7k streams. Thank you so much to everyone that supports me. And some people have these stats and some people are afraid to share. And I want to get into why people might not be listening to your music in this video. I, I feel like it's really important to, 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 to talk about it because sometimes I feel like it's these things that you know need to be spoken about so that you know you kind of have an idea of what's really happening some things are in our control and some things are not in our control like the number one reason why most people do not listen to the underdog most of the time is just because it's not popular to listen to you that's kind of the thing where everyone is at right now you know everyone wants to you know be with with the popular people already and they're not trying to waste their time or their data or their streams on anyone that's less popular so that's another reason why people might not be listening to your music and it's not everyone that's sharing their spotify rap stats or even how their streams are doing because when you share your music on like major platforms like itunes and uh, spotify themselves they don't show the public how many streams you're getting but you can only see them on the back end like if you're using distrokid like i am and so many other artists which the link of distrokid is down below and you should use that you you'll see all your stats in the back end when you're looking at your dashboard you can see how many streams you're getting and how much money you've been making through your music and that kind of thing but if you're using other ways to release music you might not be getting your stats and that's a, that's kind of a problem because you don't see how your music is doing that's why these stats are really important for you to kind of uh, track your progress and also let other people know and follow along with your journey it's like when you see views on youtube or subscribers on youtube it's people seeing your journey your growth and stuff like that and you can use that regardless of where the level of those numbers are so that th if those numbers are like small this is where you can make a campaign and be like yo really help me boost these numbers guys you know you can talk to your audience and people that are around you everyone knows people you know you've got family you've got uh, facebook friends you've got instagram followers you've got twitter followers you can tell them yo look these are my numbers right now and i have a target of getting them maybe to a certain level and i need your help so help me get them to this number campaign that's something that you can do you know uh, that will really help but one thing that is really happening with people right now is that people are following trends everything has to be trendy for people to pile onto it these days so that's one big major factor that's impacting the underdog in my opinion these days why most people that are underdogs are not really getting the streams that, that, that they're getting and they should be getting streams because i've heard a lot of dope music from most of you guys like i've done competitions and i do listen when people tag me on social media when they have their music released or when they're preparing to release their music or whatever i hear good music and it's a shame people are not really getting a lot of streams because of how good the music is but most people are getting like frustrated about this and not sharing these because they're like ah the number is too small like my numbers are not impressive at all you know but i i share it because i'm trying to share my journey so this popularity thing is one thing that's really holding a lot of people back and people are not coming through to judge you because your music is good but they're just judging you off your popularity and they won't listen to it that's kind of the first big reason that i can give you right now the second reason is that some musicians are not giving like people an incentive on why they must listen to your music like giving an incentive on why people must listen to your music is actually something that can also push them to listen to your music so if you feel like you're not getting a lot of people to listen to your music think about that like what incentive are you giving them to listen to your music just your music being good is not good enough for them to listen to it you know uh, it's, it's like movies if a movie is good or it's well produced it doesn't mean that everyone is going to see it but what incentive is there you know what draw is there because it's definitely not you because you're not a big enough star that's popular enough for them to be interested into listening to it so what incentive is there so you have to give them a reason that's why i've, I've told you all that look 
if you want to, you can post little clips and share your story about how you are creating this music, your struggles and your journey in the music, you know, in the music industry and how you're going so that they can have interest and be like, oh, we see what he's doing or he or she or whatever. And, you know, we see what they are doing and let's just hear what the, what they're coming up with. Like for me, I make videos and in those videos, it gives people incentive to want to listen to my music to be like, oh, so how really good is he? You know, if they see me post like a little clip of like a song, just a little piece on Instagram or on Facebook, they're like, oh, I actually kind of like this song, you know, that he's working on. I want to hear the final product. That's incentive. And then when I drop the, the, the song, like in full, then they'd be like, okay, let me check it out. Let me check out the final result because I kind of, you know, I have interest from the little clip that I that that he spoke about it and so forth. So you need to give people incentive on why they should listen to your music. These are the top reasons that I could come up with right now. And it's it's and again I'm gonna say this that it is a good thing to track your stats. Like most people don't want to tra track their stats because it's like you know it's it's obviously they look down on they look down on themselves and they feel like okay my stats are too low so I'm not really gonna track my stats and you know it's, 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 I'm afraid to look at them because it's like you know results of like an exam or whatever it's it's nerve wracking. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be really impressive, but you want to do that. That's why I say that release your music on digital platforms properly with a online music distribution service like DistroKid, you know, and I speak on behalf of DistroKid and I do support DistroKid because it supports the underdog. It's the cheapest service out there that you can use to have your music everywhere. Obviously, they are a supporter of my channel. They have sponsored videos before. This video is not sponsored by them, but just saying that you can use my link that's down below to sign up so you can see these stats, so you can track on iTunes, on uh, Spotify, wherever on uh, Amazon music and stuff like that your music can always be there so you can track your progress and even share with your audience and tell them that oh look thank you guys for supporting me like what other artists are doing that's all they're doing they're basically just showing their fans how much they've supported them through the year so that's something that I think you want to do so you know don't be afraid to show your stats and share your story no matter how much numbers it is I mean on YouTube you cannot hide your views I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't hide your views, you know, so if you have low views, you have low views, everyone is going to see, you know, and if you have high views, people will see that you also have high views. So don't be afraid to share your stats. It's something that can be really helpful to help people know that, you know, this is your journey and this is where you're at at the moment or help you know what to do and how to configure and how to, you know, find a way to pivot yourself and know where to take it from there and what steps to take if you want to increase those numbers you know that you need to put in work so that's it um let me know how your music has done this year do you feel like um your music done better this year as compared to last year did you share your spotify wrapped stats or you didn't and if you didn't let me also know why you didn't share them down below i would like to know but for me i thought of not posting them but then i was like ah, you know what let me post it let me let the people that let me acknowledge the people that did stream my music let me show them the results of their stream so that if, when it comes to next year when i drop more music they can be like oh let's go support this dude you know and that kind of thing but anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one i'm x and i'm out peace